Hello manga people, I am the manga person and I am back with a manga recommendation on Usamaru, Usamaru Furuya's Genkaku Picasso. Now, before I get into the recommendation, you might uh, notice that name by... because he is the same author of No Longer Human, which is a, a lot more recognized series. Which, I don't know why it's a lot more recognized, because... I actually originally found out about Picasso first through the old Shonen Jump magazines. This is the October 2010 issue. I had a little preview for Ginkaku Picasso that ran for, I think, three months. Because these came out monthly. Or was it? No, I think it was just this issue. Because I don't have all the issues, but... In just this issue, they did a preview for Ginkaku Picasso back in 2010 when the series was released. And... I guess it didn't really get that much viewership because the series that didn't get really that much uh, attention, which was no longer human, is the lot is is a lot more well known than uh, Picasso. And kind of another example of that was in the January 2011 issue, Siren, which is a series that is very underrated. I haven't read all of it yet, but I'm really enjoying it. Siren is another series that was featured in the Shonen Jump magazine. That not a lot of people know about, even though it was featured in the Shonen Jump magazine. Well, anyway, let's get back to it. Uh, Ginkaku Picasso is a series about this guy right here, whose nickname is Picasso. His actual name is Hikari Hamura. And the story is kind of hard to explain, so I'm just going to read off what it says on the back of the first volume to give you a better understanding of what the general story is. Uh... Hiroki Hamura, nicknamed Picasso because of his natural artistic abilities, survived a horrible accident, but his friend Chiaki wasn't so lucky. Suddenly, Chiaki appears in front of him and tells him, in order to keep living, he must help the people around him. Can Hiroki save people with his sketchbook and a 2B pencil? That's pretty... <laughs> it's kind of a weird story where he survives an accident, uh, he's supposed to be dead, but... His, his friend Shiaki, who did die in the accident, uh, kind of like prayed to God and Buddha to bring him back to life so that he could help people with his artistic abilities. And they mean this literally help people with his artistic abilities because uh, he after his accident, he gained some type of power kind of where he could see people's like aura and through that aura he could like draw what they see in their heart. Let me try to give you an example of that. Right here, I have it bookmarked. Um, he draws pictures like this, like really nice. If you know uh, Smart Furuya, he has really great art. He draws pictures like this that uh, represent people's emotions or what they're feeling, and through kind of like, uh, they're kind of like metaphors of what people are feeling. And he gets transported into these images and tries to find out what that person is going through so that he can help them with their problems. And it's a very interesting series in that dynamic of it. Like, it's a very uh, psychological series. And it's really interesting how uh, he draws out these illustrations. And they're really good illustrations, as I said. Uh, Usamar Furuya is a great artist, and he really does a great job of drawing out those illustrations, making them look interesting when they enter the worlds of those illustrations. Him and uh, Picasso and Chiaki, when they enter those illustrations, it always looks really nice. And it's a three-volume series, just like No Longer Human, but they're a lot thicker, like I could show you uh, in comparison. This is No Longer Human volume, and then these are the Picasso volumes. Yeah, they're a lot thicker. They go for the same price, I'm pretty sure. Actually, No Longer Human is ten ninety five. And then these Picasso volumes are nine ninety nine. You could probably get them cheaper on like Amazon or something, but yeah, definitely check out Ginkaku Picasso. It's a very interesting series. I highly recommend it. Not a lot of people know about it, and I want more people to know about it. Uh, really great Asamara Furuya work. If you're interested in No Longer Human, even though No Longer Human is much more uh, uh, darker in tone, and this one's a bit lighter, it does have some dark elements to it, but outrated as a shonen while no longer human a sign in it is still a very interesting psychological work and i hope more people read it that is all i'll see you guys next time